This is Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing. You're watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. So late last night, I seen the headlines for Deontay Wilder announcing that he's going to be fighting Tyson Fury next. He wants to clear up all the controversy. So it's going to be Luis Ortiz, then Tyson Fury, etc, etc. In that moment, I knew exactly what it was. So this morning, I wake up the usual time um, of uh, 6.30. It's now 7 a.m. I'm about to go wake up my little boy to uh, give me his uh, usual medication. And I thought, you know what? I'm just going to record this video now, get it over and done with before he's awake and starts climbing the walls and doesn't give me two minutes pace. So I'm going to give you my thoughts. And yes, this is speculation on my part, of course. Um, I have nothing to really back it up. But listen, when have I ever been wrong about Wilder? Never. So for, what, two years now, I've been telling you guys that Wilder never wanted Anthony Joshua. It's not complicated, and I've shown you all the evidence every step of the way. And when Deontay Wilder announced that he was going to be fighting Luis Ortiz next on Tuesday, just gone, even a lot of his fans, who Wilder seems to think that all boxing fans have the same zombie-like comatose state that a section of his fans do. And people realized what it was that Wilde had done when he announced Luis Ortiz. We always knew that it was gonna be Luis Ortiz next anyway. That was never really um, any kind of great secret. So even a lot of his hardcore fans woke up. They finally come out of the coma and seen the light. So listen, welcome children, come into the light. That's a podcast reference, by the way, from the movie. So the fans didn't react well and Wilder didn't understand, he was quite upset that even um, a lot of his own fans turned on him saying, what, you're ducking Anthony Joshua for a rematch against a guy that you've already beaten? A guy who's looked terrible in his last two fights? Really? And now you can put it on pay-per-view? Really? And now you've announced it with no date and no venue. But you said that nobody signed for a fight with no date and venue, which is why you didn't fight Joshua. That was your whole reason for it, right? So Wilder wasn't too happy. And the reason that he announced Luis Ortiz was because Anthony Joshua, only a couple of hours before Wilder put out that social media post, which was after I defeat Andy Ruiz Jr., I'm calling out Deontay Wilder, come meet me, one-on-one, -on -one, let's get this fight done. He went into panic, his team went into panic, oh, uh, I'm going to fight Luis Ortiz. Why Luis Ortiz? Well, because, again, Anthony Joshua said to Luis Ortiz, if I can't get Wilder, no problem. I'll fight you, no problem. So, Wilder, well, no, you can't fight him, I'm fighting him. Again, a lot of it was down to publicity as well, of course. So, yesterday what happened? Anthony Joshua. Eddie Hearn said, right, let's have a sit down, one-on-one -on -one with Tyson Fury. Didn't he? If Wilder wants to go fight Luis Ortiz, go on, crack on, no problem. We believe that story, okay, cool. Just crack on. We're disappointed, we want undisputed. Now the world knows that you don't. The world has been seeing that you've been lying for the last two years, you never wanted it, and every excuse you've made. So, fine, crack on. We're gonna go fight Tyson Fury then, but we're gonna have a sit down one-on-one -on -one with Tyson Fury. What does Wilder do? Um, I'm gonna be fighting Tyson Fury next after Lewis Ortiz. Isn't it obvious what he's doing? He's pulling a home move. It's pretty obvious. Reason why? Okay, first of all, Publicity. Wilder, for some strange reason, he's very, very happy about the ESPN saying that he's the most um, talked about boxer of um, December and January. But what the idiot doesn't realise is that he's the most talked about boxer, but in a negative light. Not a good light. He, he doesn't realise that. He just thinks he's popular. He's not popular. He... He's just been piggybacking off the back of Tarsen Fury and Anthony Joshua and people have been mocking him. He's too stupid to realise that. But either way, he wants to keep up that. So, of course, Anthony Joshua is in New York. He's absolutely overtaken New York. He's shown to the world that he is more popular in America than what Wilder is. He's done bigger numbers at the gate. He's done bigger numbers at the open workout, at the press conference, at the weigh-in yesterday. The numbers were phenomenal. And that's not even fight night. Wilder doesn't like that. His team doesn't like that. So what they do? Well, I'm going to be fighting Tyson Fury. Why? Try and get some headlines. Get some clout chasing. Again, also for a way to... Psychological move. They, they believe it's a psychological move. Because by him 
ruling himself out to be fighting Anthony Joshua next, for him to be ruling out Luis Ortiz to be fighting Anthony Joshua next, and now to rule out Tyson Fury from Anthony Joshua. It's psychological. They're so desperate for Anthony Joshua to lose to Andy Ruiz. They're hoping to really mess with his mind so he doesn't perform well at all. Will that work? I don't think so, but listen, you never know. And that's how they're going about it. Now, has he signed with Tyson Fury? Unlikely. To be honest, unlikely. Now, had he not said anything about Tyson Fury, the Luis Ortiz one was is kind of believable. But because now he's done it with Tyson Fury, the day before the fight, I think it's pretty obvious the whole thing, in my opinion, is a lie. I'm not saying that's not what's going to happen. I'm saying that I don't believe that he signed to fight Tyson Fury. I don't believe he signed to fight Luis Ortiz. I believe that they're just in talks. In fact, there's a very good chance that Wilder got hold of Tyson Fury yesterday or whenever and said, um, hey Tyson, um, I want to fight you next after Luis Ortiz. You up for it? And uh, Tyson Fury would be his usual self of, any time, any place, anywhere, you big dosser. And Wilder's took that as, yeah, we're going to be fighting next. That's all it is. For me, it's just psychological warfare and bouncing off the name of Joshua. And the idiot thinks that this is actually going to work. It works in the sense that people are talking about it, but it's not working in the sense of people looking at him going, wow, what a champion you are. What a hero you are. No, no, people look at him going, so you're going to duck and dispute again after Luis Ortiz. So you're not going to give us undisputed for what, the next year now? Is that what you're doing? He's too stupid to realise that. He thinks that, as I said earlier, that all boxing fans have the same zombie-like state that his fans do. Even though a lot of his fans have awoke from that coma. But we're not like that. People are seeing what it is that Wilder's doing. It's psychological, that's all it is. He's clout chasing off Anthony Joshua's name and he's hoping that he's going to mess with Anthony Joshua's mind so he doesn't perform against Andrew Wiz. Why? Because, listen, he would drop Luis Ortiz like a bad habit and Tyson Fury like a bad habit if he thought that there was a good chance that Andy Ruiz would beat Anthony Joshua. He would drop them two and fight Andy Ruiz if that was possible. Is that possible? Unlikely because um, Andy Ruiz Jr., if he did manage to defeat Anthony Joshua, there would be a rematch clause anyway. Why? Because it's a voluntary. But... He's a PBC fighter. Don't forget that as well. Andrew Ruiz Jr. is, cu is currently a PBC fighter. Fights on the same uh, platform as Wilder. Works for Al Heyman as such. Or uses Al Heyman as an advisor. Difference is with Andrew Ruiz Jr. is that he can actually think for himself. Wilder clearly can't. He's told what to do, etc. In fact, he's probably been told to put out this uh, statement about Tyson Fury and Luis Ortiz. Fans did not react well to Luis Ortiz. And they're not going to react too well with Tyson Fury. Is it coincidence? As Wilder only fought two weeks ago. And now he's quickly come out within the space of, um, the space of uh, Anthony Joshua in fight week. He's announced two fights. He's never done this. Ever. He's never even announced one fight in that short amount of time. Let alone two. Am I reading too much into this? It's possible, as I said. It's speculation. Maybe he has legitimately signed with Luis Ortiz and he has legitimately signed with Tyson Fury. Maybe. It's possible. But even then, it's still a home move. He's still using Joshua's name as clout. And yes, it works because he's going to be talked about. But it's not going to affect the gate. It's not going to affect the numbers of Anthony Joshua. Is it going to affect Joshua psychologically? I don't think so. It's possible. That, that, that Josh would, he just sat there going, right, okay, so now I ain't going to get wilder. I ain't going to beat up uh, old decrepit Luis Ortiz in a real easy fight. And I ain't going to get Tyson Fury next. So it looks like I'll, it's, it's now going to have to be my mandatories, whether that be Pulev or Usyk or whatever. Okay. Isn't it pretty obvious what it is that Wilder's done? Isn't it? And the idiot really thinks that the fans are going to go, Big up Wilder, you the man. Listen, his fan channels will, but we all know that they don't really mean it. They don't. They're just following the flute of the Pied Piper. That's all they're doing. Because not one of them are leaders. They're all sheep. All his fan channels are sheep. 
obvious isn't it anyway that's my thoughts and all of course you drop me yours click thumbs up and of course subscribe catch you all on the next video